Good morning, my people. Good day to every one of you. All of you, how are you doing? Um, you are welcome to my channel. This is a, a global solution for all mankind. And I'm very happy to join you again this morning to bring information according to the leading of the Spirit of God uh, to anyone that will hear the sound of my voice, I pray that it's going to be a blessing in uh, your life. You are welcome. Uh, if the first time you are joining this channel, you are very much welcome. My name is uh, Dr. Wilson Tayo, and I'm here to share information that will bring a blessing, it will bring a solution and answers and direction in the life of man. And I believe anyone that hear the sound of my voice this morning, may the person be blessed. I want to talk about a very, very uh, deep information again that is very, very helpful uh, to those who are going to practice and apply it. The Bible says that a natural man cannot receive the things of the Spirit, for those things of the Spirit, they are foolishness to them or to him. But for the things of the spirit are spiritually discerned. So it is my prayer that anyone that come across my videos will be able to tune into the spirituality so that they understand uh, the message I want to put here or the messages on my channel. Now, there is a way on how you can uh, tune into spirituality and be able to uh, do spiritual practices that are going to turn around your life for betterness. For that is a desire and the will of God for a man to live a better life, uh, to live a life without a struggle. It is in the will of God that we live a life without a struggle. So if you are struggling in life every day and it's like God has forgotten you, I want you to know that it's not God's will. All right, sometimes we go through that period for a certain time. Because the Lord is preparing something in our life. Maybe he is teaching us some, a lesson that he wants us to learn so that he can help us in the future or maybe he can help somebody else. But God will not allow you to start suffering and suffer to the end. If you are practicing righteousness, and the suffering is generated out of righteousness. Well, the scripture says that there are many afflictions on the righteous, but the Lord delivers them from all. One way that the Lord will deliver you from all these things is by giving you a spiritual direction by the leading of the Spirit in His Word and again, a, body, a, a, a voice, an audible voice that you may hear or a communication from another person that it may be used of God to give you a direction. Now this morning, anyone that hear the sound of my voice, I want to talk on how you can uh, do a very powerful spiritual cleansing or bath with uh, 
a very uh, spiritual leave called uh, fertility leave. Now, fertility leave is also known as greasy leave. These leaves are in the house of many, many rich people in this world. Many has planted them inside their compound. Many has planted them in their homes. The leaves I'm holding in my hand is an greasy leaf, which is a dry one. Uh, if you are in West Africa countries and many places in the world, I know some of you, you can have it um, a fresh one. Fresh are very, very important for you to have. You just need to plant it in your compound. These leaves are used, uh, these leaves are used in many things. They are used in many, many things. So today, I just want to give you one way on how to get, uh, change your life uh, using a greasy leaf. Um, the Yoruba people, they call it Ewe Akoko. The Hausa people, they call it Aduruku. The English name is fertility leave. Reason why it's also called fertility leave is because you can use it to help women that are having challenge of the foot of the womb. You can boil it and then squeeze the water and bath it or wash on their belly. At the same time, you can boil it and also drink some. It's a very powerful also solution to the people that have received a witchcraft spiritual poison. You drink it, you boil it, and then you squeeze the water, you drink it. It will help you to remove the spiritual witchcraft that maybe have put inside your belly or within your womb. But on this video, how do you use it for a very powerful cleansing that is going to change your life? Get four leaves or seven leaves. What did I say? Four leaves or seven leaves. Get a bucket of water, a very clean bucket of water, okay? And then get seven leaves or four leaves between the two. Once you get these leaves, it can be fresh. Now, if you happen to have a fresh or greasy leaf, what you are going to do, you are going to uh, squeeze, put in the water and squeeze. Squeeze like you are washing cloth to make sure that the juice from the leaf is drained into the water. Okay? Squeeze it into the water like this, like you are washing. While you are doing that, you are making your request. Make your request about what you want to do. Remove every bad luck in your life. Remove um, um, uh, uh, these uh, hindrances, blockage. Um, these things that are hindering you based on the de 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 desires of your heart in prayer. Release it while you are doing the cancel them. Father, let my life be favored. Any bad luck that I'm carrying on my name, let it be terminated. As I, as I bath this water, any bad luck that is working with me wherever I go, if I go to receive visa, I decline, I'm declined. I can't receive visa after I have spent my money and there is no refund of money. Oh Lord, let this bad luck be removed. Whether it is attached on my feet, or it is attached on my body, or it is a mark on my body that is being used as a remote control, whatever I do, I am controlled to have a bad luck. Let it be removed. Pray anything based on the desire of your heart. Pray a prayer 
that is related to what you want to change. Once you do negative destruction, while you are draining it in the water, drain the water, dry the, drain the water, you now do what? You speak good, good things to happen to you. Let me, when I bath, let good luck, let opportunities. Let people like me. Let people love my words. Let me be among the people that people will follow my opinion. Let me bring a benefit in the office I'm working. Let me contribute to the growth of the company I'm working. My section, let it be shiny. Let my business uh, get another favor. Let people come to my business. Let people come to my church. If you are a pastor, if you are a minister of the gospel, let people come to my business. If you are having business, any type of uh, thing that you desire, you can make it in prayer while you are doing that. Once you finish, the second thing you are going to do, get uh, agata pepe. Agata pepe is a very, very powerful seed. It's a spice that can be found in our kitchen. Agata pepe is, has a million ways and more than a million ways on how you can benefit with it spiritually. But you cannot unless you are led by the Spirit to know what to do and how to go about it. Okay? You need Agatha Pepe. Uh, you need um, uh, seven seed from this fruit. Get a seven seed from Agatha Pepe. And then pray with it what you want happen when you bath that water. And then drop inside the water. Drop inside that water. Okay? So the third thing that you are going to do, just get a, a white uh, white uh, spiritual salt. Do not use, uh, on this recipe, do not use a sea salt. Use a white spiritual salt. Or if you can't find white spiritual salt, you can use a black salt. Now, there is a difference between a spiritual salt and a sea salt. I see we always um, we always mix it when we are we are calling, but we have a different salt that is known as spiritual salt. Now that spiritual salt, you take a little bit, you drop inside that water, and then drain, remove all the leaves. Remove all the leaves. While you remove the leaves, bind them together and then rotate on the leaves on your, on your head four times, not three times. Four times and clockwise. Four times and clockwise. Do it uh, uh, four times and clockwise on your head. Okay? So while you do that, you say, I reject it. I untie myself from anything that is following me from west, east, north, and south. Anything that has been done with any man, living or dead, let it leave you alone. Be free and be uh, a free person to make it in life. That is a prayer that you do. That type of prayer you rotate four times and clockwise. You are untying yourself from anything that people have tied or anything that has happened that is a blockage that is stopping you to make it. Okay? So after doing this, the next thing that you are going to do, you are going to bath. Now you are going to bath this, and uh, you do this recipe every Monday. Do it every week. Every Monday you do this. I didn't say you do it every Tuesday or Thursday or any day. I say it every Monday. Please follow my instructions of all. Deuteronomy 28 and verse 1. If they hear my word, obey my instruction, follow my rules, keep my laws. Instructions are the things that make spirituality powerful. Every Monday in the morning, 
after you prepare this recipe, you now do it. Every Monday in the morning, after you prepare this recipe, you now do it. Every Monday in the morning. So you do it every Monday in the morning. Okay? Every Monday in the morning. So you can make it a lifestyle because this is going to generate a very good opportunity in your life. Day after day, as you do that, every Monday, every week you do it once. Because the preparation of this recipe, it takes a very good time. So once you prepare, you do it every, every one. You, you prepare something that you can do it on Monday only once. You don't need to keep the water up to next Monday, no. Every Monday you prepare new, you bath it. You prepare new, you bath it. It's going to change your life. Open the doors, bring good luck. Favor is going to accompany you. Goodness and mercy of the Lord will begin to change in your life. Things will begin to happen positive in your life and doors will begin to open for you. This is a very, very powerful recipe and I want to encourage everyone that is having a predicament, every different challenges that you are going through in life, you can do this prayer every Monday in the morning and you do this practice or greasy leaf that other. Now, even if, if you have a dry leaves, you boil the leaves into the water. If you don't have, you have a fresh one, you can just do it like that. You don't need to boil the water. But if you have a dry leaves, I want to encourage you to use a, a hot water. You boil it in the water so that the, the power or the juice from the, the, the leaves will be able to be you can get the juice, which is going to help you to use. And then you follow the same procedure with the seven seed of agata pepper. And then those seeds, you drop in the water. You are going to bath it. And then we will remove the all greasy leaf and you remove the seeds. You are going to bath the seed. Do not remove the seed. You are going to bath when the seed is in the, in the water as you drop it. But only leaves is what you remove. And you anti-clockwise on your head four times and you dispose it. You dispose it. Now, in disposing, you must use the left hand. Take it and, and tie it, dispose it on the left hand. Do not use the right hand. Dispose it using the left hand. This is what uh, is going to be a benefit on your life. This uh, Do it every Monday, every week. You are going to thank me later. You are going to see a changes in your life. If you are interested in a spiritual work, you are, you are using products and you are using many things and you don't see a change, you can order for spiritual services. I have many spiritual services. So long as I look into your case, I will know what type of a spiritual service can be done. God is not limited. God is a spirit. Therefore, in a distance, there's no problem with that. We'll do a spiritual work, and then after doing spiritual work on your name, you can now use a product, and you'll see a very powerful result. God bless you. I love you all. Share my videos and subscribe to my channel. I pray for the best for every one of you that have watched my video. Bye-bye. I love you all. Thank you.